My name is Akira. I'm a 27-year-old school teacher. Here we are. I'm riding the most late bus again in the schedule. I like my job, and it's fulfilling, but staying up late every night is kind of tough. Every day is just another day shuffling between work and home. And oh, it's already July, huh? Summer vacation is approaching, so I should start preparing for the summer courses for my students. Ugh, my shoulder. It feels kind of heavy. <laughs> What's with this situation? And isn't she too vulnerable like this? <laughs> She's sound asleep. No sign of her waking up at all. I guess I should let her be for a while. Uh, I'm... I'm so sorry. Uh, no, don't worry about it. It happens. That was kind of surprising. Hmm. Is this smell from my sweat? Wait, I think this scent isn't mine. Oh well, it doesn't matter. I probably won't see her again. Oh wow, she's sitting next to me again. Normally, girls her age would probably hesitate to sit next to an old guy like me. What's with this feeling of acceptance by her? I guess it's because I haven't gotten this kind of chance for a while. Oh, D-rating, huh? Her choice of school seems quite tough. Looking at it closely, she has long eyelashes, though. <whistles> Fell asleep again, huh? Students have it tough, too. I need to work hard at my job as well. Next stop is Nekomachi First District. Nekomachi First District. For those getting off. Wait, wasn't she supposed to get off at the next bus stop like before? Um, excuse me. She's not waking up to my voice. So should I... Wait. Is it okay for me to touch a high school girl? As a guy in his late 20s, would I get in trouble for touching her? Hey, wake up. The bus. Hmm? The next bus stop is your stop, right? Oh, right! Oh, gosh. Thank you very much. Yeah, no problem. Take care. It's strange. It feels like we're developing an odd connection. After that, she continued to sit next to me. This bus often has regular passengers, and we have silently agreed on our seating arrangements. My seat is always here, and the older man sitting next to me gets off at the previous bus stop before she boards. And then, she will sit here. <sighs> well, it doesn't really matter to me. Oh god, sorry for that. This is not good. No, it's okay. I'm usually the one bothering you with it. You seem tired today. Thank you for your hard work. It's a strange relationship, isn't it? We don't even know each other's names. But she's a high school girl, and this level of distance seems just right. Well, back to work. I have to work on the special classes this weekend. Here it is! Here it is! Our tutoring center has a somewhat unusual custom. When we work on weekends, after the midday meeting, we order takeout from a nearby Chinese restaurant. I'm sorry. I ordered soy sauce ramen, so why is it miso that arrived? I'm sorry, I'll get it replaced right away. I can't wait that long. I really wanted to eat soy sauce ramen. I was looking forward to it so much. Manager, if you'd like, we can exchange our ramen. I ordered soy sauce and I don't mind eating miso. Really? Are you sure? Yes, I was in the mood for miso, so it's perfect. Thanks, Akira-kun. You're the best. As a thank you, I'll give you one piece of my meat. <laughs> Thanks. So, it's all good now. Wait, you're the girl from the bus. Oh. You, do you know her? Well, technically, not really. This is a thank you. Huh? If you don't like it, you can throw it out. No, I will keep it. Thank you. These snacks seem expensive. Um, by the way, the Chinese restaurant. Were you working there? Yes. Trouble with something? Huh? Oh, it's nothing. I've already given up. Isn't it a bit too early to give up on that? Judging from her test results, she seems to be around the second year of high school. And with these grades, she can still catch up. Are you attending any tutoring centers? I've never been to a tutoring center. I don't have the money and I live in a dorm. I see. Oh, don't make that serious face, please. I don't have parents, but I'm perfectly happy. Besides, I'm too busy with my part-time job to study now. Why are you working part-time then? Once I graduate, I have to leave the dorm, so kids like me start saving money for living alone around the second year of high school. I see. So she earned this money by using her precious time. 
Well, going to university isn't the only thing that matters, but why are you taking practice exams? Becoming a school teacher was one of my dreams. Her choices are limited to state universities with low tuition. But I'm not skilled enough to work and study at the same time. And I've never been to a tutoring center, so the distance with others keeps growing. Hey, come on now. It's too early to give up on your dream. Besides, you don't need to attend a tutoring center to study. But I don't have much time. Then let's study here. The bus ride is about 30 minutes. And I think that's enough. And luckily, I'm a tutor. So I'm good at teaching students. Really? If you said it like that, sure. This is a token of appreciation for the sweets. Now, let's not waste any time. We can start now. S start now? I want to increase your chances of passing even a little bit. But keep in mind, I'm going to be strict, so be prepared. I mean, are you sure? Of course, I won't force you. It's only if you're willing. Um... Yes? Do you think it's possible for me to catch up with my current academic level? Can I fulfill my dream? Certainly. Thank you so much. I'm Akira. And I'm Shizuka. Oh, nice to meet you, Shizuka. From that point on, I taught Shizuka every day on the bus. Grading the past exam questions she solved at home, memorizing English words, and covering current lessons. It continued through autumn, into winter, passed through spring, and into summer. And then, Shizuka's graduation announcement day came by. Akira! I passed! Seriously? You did it, Shizuka! Congrats! <laughs> the joy made us feel relieved after long months of studying together in the bus, and somehow makes us sleepy as well. Uh-oh. We overslept and ended up at the final stop. This bus station is the last one, isn't it? What should we do? <clears throat> hmm. Well, how about we grab something to eat? I'll treat you in for the celebration. Oh, thank you. This is kind of fun. It's been so long since I did something like this. I've never really dined out at this hour. That's great. I'm having fun as well. Um, Akira, do you have a girlfriend or something? No, I don't. Why are you asking something like that? I was just curious. All right, I'll call a taxi for you. Okay. Wait, what about you, Akira-san? For a high school girl to get into a taxi with an unknown man at night isn't the best idea from an educational standpoint. I'll take a different taxi home. But what about the money? Don't worry, I'll take care of it and let me be cool this once. Once she graduates from high school, we might never meet again. Alright, time to head back. I'm so tired. But today is Shizuka's last day on the bus. Um, Akira-san? Oh, he's asleep. Goodbye, Akira-san. Ah, it was a one-sided crush until the end. Hmm, she didn't board today, it seems. And thus, our story came to an end. After several months, my life went back to normal. Since we never exchanged contact information, it seems like I won't see her again. Akira-kun, can you handle the job interview for me? Sure, I can do that. Huh? Is that...? Don't worry, she's from National University A. We can hire her without any concerns if everything goes well. Please take care of me, Akira-san. And it seems like our relationship did not end there. We're so happy to see you all having fun watching our channel. Hope you liked today's video as well.